Lights out faithful, you already know it's your boy EE and I needed to make you aware of Low Tide City which is happening May 11th through the 12th in beautiful Round Rock, Texas. That's right in the Kalahari Resort. Listen, head over to start.gg slash Low Tide City 2024 because you can use the code lights out 20 to get $20 off of your registration or hit that QR code that you see right there on your screen as well. Again, enter that code lights out 20 to get $20 off of your registration and we'll We'll see you there, man. Whole Lights Out Squad. Get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for Lights Out episode 53, presented by our friends at Prize Picks, which we'll talk more about later. But I want to talk to you guys about Low Tide City. You saw the promotion at the beginning of the video. Again, Lights Out 20 for $20 off your Low Tide registration. I'm going a, I'm to a pull up. Cosmos, you pulling up? I'm pulling up. Zombie, you, you pulling up? <laughs> Zomba, you pulling up? I'm pulling up. I will be there. Co wait, Cosmos, hello? What? He looked hey, froze. <gasps> I froze? <laughs> frozen. <laughs> oh my god. Look. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Cosmos. <laughs> oh my god. Your bro is a statue. Can you still hear me? I can hear yeah, you. Yeah, we bro. can hear you. You were just frozen on your webcam. I hear you just fine. I was like confused. I was like, why is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me one second. Yeah, no problem. Do you have like a phone? You can do like a little. No, don't. We can't do another Something light. That's why, we can't... <laughs> That's why we dismiss light. He showing up with his phone like a gym. <laughs> Yeah, I use like an iPad. Well, in the meantime, while Cosmos is sorting through his quick technical issues, uh, and we are excited for prize picks in Low Tide City. Also excited to have you here, Zamba, one of our Lights Out affiliates. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit, buddy. What you been up to? Because it damn sure ain't been going to tournaments. <laughs> well, I've been trying my really my best to get a really good sponsor. Okay. And the sponsor that I had in mind was getting a fucking job. So I've been <laughs> scouring Indeed.com because I'm like, you know what? I got to lock in a little bit because, you know, a guy wins Genesis, the biggest tournament, and yet no offers? Hmm. Interesting. I know we're in an esports winter, but none. I would say that I'm a little I'm a little pissed, but I mean, I've been over it. Okay. Just a little bit. <laughs> but no, like seriously, I mean, I've been just focusing on my schoolwork. I've low-key been like neglecting that shit because I was like, ah. Like, okay, like, fuck school, who needs school? But then I'm like, oh, no, wait. <laughs> I have my presentation and multiple essays due soon. And like, uh, uh, yeah. I, I would say that, you know, I always tell people that school is just, school at some point is just, you have to do it. It's the end all be yeah. all. At least, like, you know, for high school. Like, you'd always do different stuff, colleges, trade schools, whatever. But definitely for school is very important. You've chosen college, so you must commit to that on the side of still being a professional smasher. But that is a little surprising that you you haven't received like a proper offer. And, you know, I see a lot of bums out there with sponsors. Now, granted, they're not the greatest sponsors. You know what I'm saying? And I wouldn't yeah. even answer DMs for some people. But you not receiving a top-tier offer when somebody who shows up on time with a working camera and wins Genesis, <laughs> I don't understand. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. The game just sucks anyway, so I'm kind of glad, slightly. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, Cosmos, we have you back. Hello, how's it going? I'm great, you know, never been better. All right. Always glad to be on time. We Listen, we, we love having yeah, you right. here. Uh, I did want to catch up with you, Cosmos, uh, briefly, because I know you went to a tournament this past weekend, all right? And I know you didn't win. You lost to a freaking stupid Lucas, even though I like that guy, yeah. Lago. He's cool. Huh. What the heck happened? I just, I just, it, it was one of those sets where you're, you're, you're kind of just going through the emotions. emotions. It is going well. I was up too well and I was kind of just checked out and I just lost focus and I just ended up getting reverse 3 0. That's, that's really it. Would like, you say you ran out of energy? No, not, I didn't really run out of energy. So you ran out of energy. Could've, but I probably could have used some more energy. You, you exactly. Well, let me tell you something. You should check out our friends over. At advanced energy, okay. Use the code lights out at checkout for 10% off your purchase. Insane. Now it even says it on the here. It's a dietary supplement that provides 
a clean and natural boost of energy. You think it's a secret how I wake up out of bed, even though I'm an emotional wreck half the time and not want to throw myself off a building? Well, thanks to Advanced, the only thing I'm throwing is this in the cup. So make sure you throw in that promo code and uh, check them out and support your boys. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So who won that tournament? <laughs> I think Louis Money won the tournament. I think it was Louis Money over Lima. <laughs> over Lima? Yeah. Which, which makes sense because um, Louis Money was actually the person that I was, I want to say stressed, because I wasn't really stressed to play anybody in that tournament. It just didn't end up going the way I wanted to. I didn't prepare well enough, and I was just I just wasn't in the right mi- mindset that weekend. Um, so it was on me, but the fact that because Louis Money was there and he's pretty much like obviously he's he's a very good player, but he's pretty much known as like a regional threat. Like whenever he goes yep. to regional tournaments, he usually wins. So he was probably the person because I had to play him. I was seated to, to play him in bracket. Um, he was the person that I was trying to like basically focus on and pre- prepare for the most. And I feel like that's also why I lost to Regalo because. Louis Money would have been my next opponent, and I was already thinking about that when I was up 2 0. So that's fair. I understand that's that. That's how it went. You're, you're, a, you're a top player, Cos- uh, uh, Cosmos, and you're a top player as well, Zamba. Is that a mentality <laughs> that you can relate to? I mean, I don't know. Because usually, if I'm fighting someone that I'm kind of like poning in the set, I don't really think I let it like slip away if I'm like destroying them. Because at that point, I just get like, like when i'm shitting on someone really bad including like other top players i kind of get into this like low-key really really raw zone of like just trying to fuck them as hard as possible which allows me to just like i don't know just like farm if i'm playing good and usually like if it's if i'm playing like that that's usually at a major which i think i do pretty well at majors so like i low-key almost jv for someone at genesis that was like like good so I was like, okay. Do you know who? Sparkle, the hero. Oh, yeah. oh wow. He's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, the, the, the last time I played him, it was game three or game five last hit. At, <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I had, we got to say, I, I, I had my combos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was love with Zombies here because he's such a little troll. It's, uh, <laughs> it's fantastic. Get this man a sponsor. I'm going to be lobbying Please. to get this guy a sponsor. Low key, I don't know if you guys saw this, but your boy EE competed last week too. I competed in Coinbox and I went 4 2 for 65th place. So, oh my God. considering I was seed yeah. six, wow. six, 680th out of 684, I'll take it. I'll, yeah. just, say, I'll just say I'll take it. That's not That's too actually kind of fascinating. Yeah, oh, right? You're I, a 4 2 bro. I'm a 4 2 bro. I feel pretty <laughs> good because I, um, I don't know, like these last couple of weeks, I've been picking. Playing with Void and picking his brain. And when I was in Maryland, I played a lot of Smash too. Just Lucina and Falcon only. That's who I used. And uh, I was like, you know, let me give it a shot here. And it was actually kind of fun. Like, I, I don't know if I'd ever, I wouldn't have time to enter all, offline tournaments, but I might enter another, I might enter a couple online tournaments every who now. Who you lose to? I lost to Capitan Sito and okay. I lost to a DDD player. Yeah, right, so you... DD on Wi Fi is kind of bullshit. I'm not gonna count. Yeah, those are pretty respectable losses. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I agree. Not gonna lie. Yeah, you know. So I don't know. I, 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 uh, I appreciated the fact that people were in the chat room for me. So thanks to you guys. <laughs> Just wanted to shout that out real quick and, and jerk myself off. Uh, but let's uh, jerk to the next topic. <laughs> wow, what a terrible, yeah. se- terrible segue. Uh, I want to talk about. <laughs> I apologize. That's horrible. Uh, <laughs> Oh my goodness! I, I want to talk about an upcoming event uh, that Cosmos should have been invited to, and that Zamba was invited Thank to, you. but he can no longer attend. Uh, and that's the Luminosity Invitational that's coming up this week. It's uh, got a powerhouse lineup of players for sure, which I'm excited for. Uh, but before we look at the pools and give our speculations on what's gonna go down, Zamba. Why is your ass not going to the tournament? Um, I made plans. That's just simply it. So at first, I denied them, like immediately, because <laughs> immediately they, made, they, they 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 made the tweet already, like the DM of a top player or something. That was me that the DM. Oh, okay. And, then, and what do you call it? After that. Me and my boys are planning to do a camping trip 
because you know it's pretty nice to seek out nature you know and find your inner self but then all right <laughs> but then i don't disagree canceled. people were canceling on the camping trip and i was like fuck bro maybe i shouldn't have canceled on this miami tournament so i look i Damn. like hit them back up and i was like hey if, you, if you're still looking for an extra player in your invitational i might be available but then yeah. like 30 minutes later some of my other friends like we just came up with better plans and i was like you know what i have priorities and that's it wait and so did you time. already tell them did you tell them that you were down again and then they said yes yes yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> you double rejected that? <laughs> oh my god Damn, bro, you played my sponsor like that? That's crazy. They should have sponsored me after I outplaced all their members when I was in the temple. <laughs> Low key, they did do it for Sonics. I'm, I'm just saying. And who did I win Genesis over? Mm. Mm, Low key, actually. He's kind of making some fair points. I'm going to have to bring that up to them uh, when I'm there. Please. I, I know. Let me ask you a question. Let me. I'm going to put you on the hot seat, all right? So who do we have on Luminosity, right? We have MK Leo, we have Meister, we have Tweak, and we have Sonics. And we have this nigga, Sylvanas, creeping and crawling in the back. What's up, Sylvanas? How you doing, buddy? Why is he so... <laughs> what is this model? <laughs> Yo, he is... A... We gotta get him back on soon, bro. Sylvanas is a, is a character. Um... <laughs> My question to you, Zavala, I wanted to know, who, who's, whose spot would you take on that roster? Who do you think you deserve it over? The easy answer is just Meister. I mean, everyone else is, like, established more, so. Oh, I mean, my it's just God. Really <laughs> you stream a little, bro? I, uh, oh, I, I find it funny. Oh, podcast, bro. I, this is true. <laughs> what? Why is he posting up like this? Bro? You got something to say? Yeah. I, 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 I can't say nothing. Yeah, I can't, you got, no, I can't show my face that I got some Timu, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> Tell me looks good. Tell me looks good. Look good. You look good. You look good. You said you look good too. You look good. You think you look good? I can't hear you. Can't. You look good. You look good. I don't look good. I don't even get shit like this. Oh my god, I got to clean. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Best team move fit I saw ever, dude. I love that nigga, bro. That is a funny, funny man. Almost as funny as Zamba with the immediate <laughs> replacement to Meister on the roster. Okay, so so would you would you ever challenge I Meister? Who I think it is. But, what? That ain't light. What? Who the fuck? That's white. That ain't light. No, nah, what's up, right. bro? You a beast, bro? Hey, I fuck appreciate you, bro. it, bro. I can't hear nothing you said. <laughs> But you a beast, bro. <laughs> I appreciate it. What's you can name? see it back in the bond. It's not 8-Bit, man. Zomba. Man. Zomba, you a beast, bro. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, bro. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, there's no way this is real, bro. <laughs> You're, you're, you're going to deal with this every podcast for a while now. I'm just going to tell you. There's no avoiding it. Oh, my God. He said 8-bit, man. This thing ain't watched this. He ain't watched this. He ain't watched this Smash 4, bro. This is crazy. Okay. I, I agree with his comment, though. You are a beast. Would you, ch- would you take on Meister in a first to 10 Luminosity spot on the line? Bro, I play fucking Robin. He plays Game & Watch. I know. That's what I'm saying. Would you do it? I mean, but, like, what's the... Like, there's like, no drawback at Yeah, all. exactly. Like, like, you don't lose... Like, they're not going to sponsor me? <laughs> hey, man. that That's that's the price of fame, all right? And then Meister's sales salary doubles if he beats you. Oh, shit. He's going to need it. Dude, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm giving them free content advice, uh, but they're giving us free content because the Luminosity Invitational presented by Kroger Gaming is upon us and let me bring up uh for you guys to see the bracket uh or the the pools i guess i'll put it in the uh the group chat too in case you guys don't have access to it so you guys can take a look at that uh so right off the bat for these pools one thing i noticed that people were mentioning was they didn't like necessarily the seating okay but i realized something that this seating makes sense to give us Different matchups that we don't have. And it's pools anyway, right? So pool one, we have Sonics, Shattuck, Meister, Riddles, and Mars, who is your replacement. Mm-hmm. And then in pool two, we have Tweak, Light, 
MK Leo, they put all the goats over here and the Buzz and H-Box. So, <laughs> any predictions on how any of these pools will go? Let's start with pool one. What are you guys thinking about pool one? Let me hear your, your opinions. Uh, Sonics is probably going to easy farm to pool. And then I do think Shattuck is going to get second. Kid has been on, he's been on a tear. He's been fucking everybody up. Um, I think Mars would probably do better than, than C9 just because the matchups in that pool are, they're pretty good for him. Or at least Game Watches. I don't think he's ever, I think like in previous times they've played, he usually farms Meister. So I would assume he would be better in this pool. And then low key, I could see him beating Riddles too. Just because that matchup seems A's on my head. So, and I think Riddles Meister would, I think Meister won their last set. So Logic is just, I would say Meister. So like Sonic's Shattuck, um, Loki Mars, and then Meister Riddles. Okay. My take. So you're you're putting Sonics over Shattuck in like their in their first time encounter. Yeah, okay. he's pretty experienced in the core matchup because it's Spargo, and he kind of farmed Neo. Oh, when they play the I love those points you just made. That's very true. Uh, yeah. Cosmos, your thoughts? I'm 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 gonna give it up, and I'm not just saying it just for a PR. I actually think Shattuck wins that pool. Oh, here we go. Now I actually you're, think you're he, number one fan after last week, huh? No. <laughs> That's my goat. The the one matchup that I feel like he would struggle with is actually Mars, because I think um, I personally actually like Corn ZSS, but I know that Corn players say that ZSS is pretty hard for um that ZSS is hard for a corn to to beat. Um, but I I don't think Sonics like beats Shattuck in their first encounter because every like he does decently well against Spargo whenever he, he, he plays corn, like it's even. But every time that they play online, and obviously it's online, but every time they play friendlies online because they do grind sessions to together. Sonics is raging the entire time, and he's usually also getting farmed. Like literally, the last time it was a couple of days ago, I tuned into Sonic Stream when he was playing Spargo for like an hour. He was just getting farmed by his, his Corrin, and he raged so hard that he just, he just started playing Roy, and he started being Spargo's Corrin with Roy. And he said, "Dude, I'm never going Sonic in this matchup ever again. I'm going Roy. The, the matchup is so fucking bad." And he was just raging the, the entire time. So I don't know if he has the will to beat Shattuck, who is a Corrin specialist mm-hmm. um but other than that i can definitely agree with the same opinions for all of your other predictions yeah. okay interesting i i mean i don't know the sonics roy would kind of hit kind of crazy actually right yeah i, I, I don't know if he's it. gonna do it but i do think that roy is one of coring's worst matchups like it's really poor so um counterpoint static loki Bucks Cola every time they play. So he knows the right matchup. And I, not to like, not to put Sonics down or anything, but I feel like his variety might be slightly worse than Cola's, potentially. Well, I mean, <laughs> I would not, uh, that's not an insult. It's no way he's as good as Cola yet. But uh, <laughs> hey, Sonics, who's to say you can't be? So maybe you should play more Roy over Sonic. Just saying. Please. Uh, <laughs> we, we wouldn't be mad about that. Let's that take a look. That I want to hmm? see, though. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. How about pool two? We got Tweak, Light, MK Leo, the Buzz and H-Box. How are we feeling about that pool? <laughs> a little controversial, but I think H-Box is going to clear. Huh? Loki, he, he he also gets like at least two JB4s. <laughs> okay. I, okay. But for real, I think <laughs> the seating is honestly perfect for like, like I think it's going to go exactly how it goes. Even though I'll rather Light win, but... Tweaks been not Tweaks had his number for a bit. So that's true. That's a realistic answer is I would say Tweak. I think Tweak's gonna win the pool. Um I'm not entirely sure what's gonna happen between Light and Leo. Whenever I think about that set, I do feel like that set can really just go either way 50-50. Um but I know Tweak, I don't remember the last time Leo's been Tweaks ever since he started playing Diddy Kong. Um, yeah, it's just been a while. 
and um, White could definitely beat Tweak. I know that they usually go back and forth. It's just pretty much what kind of I feel like that really does depend on Light and what kind of mindset he he's in. Because if he feels like he's going to lose a Tweak, he usually ends up losing the Tweak. But whenever yeah. he feels like he will beat Tweak, that is when he also usually beats Tweak. So if he feels like he's really confident against Tweak, I would give it to him that weekend. I just am not really sure how he's feeling right now against Tweak. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So okay. So that's pools. So that's just kind of did the turn because everybody's gonna play in the main bracket, right? But that's, yeah, I guess like I guess some people will play through losers and some people will play through winners. I think that's what they're right. doing for that. I I I'd say I just know they better have a. Is is it a two day or a one day? It's a one day. It's on the twentieth, so it's a Saturday, and uh, they better have more commentators. If you think I'm sitting my black ass down there and commentating two sets of pools in a bracket, <laughs> go ahead and fire me now. But. Let's talk about the bracket, because that'll happen at some point. Who is going to take the entirety of the event, though? Pools aside, who wins the whole thing? What are your predictions? Cyber Sonics or Xbox. <laughs> Stop I'm pushing. so silly. Why didn't I say Xbox too? Yeah, Stop pushing this propaganda. Um, <laughs> no, I, I think, think Sonic's Lear still. I think it's between Sonic's Light. It just depends on how light fares versus tweak and if sonics fights light in my eyes yeah that's true actually because i do think sonic or light would beat sonics um i think it also depends on um light bracket path in the actual bracket because i do see him i'm pretty sure i'm not sure how it's gonna end up like how many people start in winners or how many people start in losers um, but I do. I'm pretty sure Light's going to end up in the winners bracket based on his yeah. pool. Right. Um, and I feel like it would actually be more beneficial for him to end up like. I'm not sure if he could end up end up in a seed where he can fight Sonic sooner, essentially. Um, and if he does that and can also like, Obviously, he beat Meister last time, but every time he plays against Meister, I'm always stressing for my entire life because that matchup is horrible. If he can do that and av- avoid Meister, I would definitely give him, give him the entire tournament. Even then, I think he he showed it at the Invitational. He could take a little game off of Via, a pretty dominant one at that. I, I think yeah. he has what it takes to deal with Meister. He also uh, beat Meister at hard, um, but Collision, did right? I did think. Did Wait, who now. beat Meister at Collision? Yeah. Who? Uh, I'll look it up. No, who beat him? Light beat Meister at Collision. He beat he beat Meister at Genesis, and I think he beat him at Collision too. Yeah. So he he's been doing pretty well against Meister. Actually. He's been pretty he's been doing pretty well against Game Watch in general, honestly, which is pretty surprising. Yeah. yeah so yeah. honestly, I would be still given that set. I I would definitely say it's it's either Sonic's. Light or tweet. What the fuck's going on? He's, he's it's, it's a dog's being a dog. That's <laughs> it's 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 either Sonic's light or tweak. I think light has the edge if he plays Sonic's earlier on because then I think that will give him the confidence and momentum to play against Tweak if they do meet in winners finals. Yeah. Um, but I do think if they play earlier on in the bracket, like in winners quarters or winners semis, then it would be uh more like Toss up between who wins, but I think if so- if Light plays Sonic's early on, he could end up winning the tournament. So I, I, was, I will put down Light for my win. Listen, there is there is an asterisk that nobody has mentioned yet. It's the fact that although we acknowledge, especially me, how great he is, how talented he is, Sonic's has not been in a national tournament since, since Genesis. Okay, and there have been a couple that have passed that a lot of these players have competed at. Okay, and I think like. I think bracket rust is like a real thing. I think like those those tough brackets, especially if you think about it, like he's going to hop into like just pools against like godlike players. You know what I mean? Like it's not like pools like you get to warm up, kind of get your footing. You go from best of three to best of five. You're beating like mid, you're terrible players, mid players, good players, great players. You know what I mean? I think that matters. Like even with the practice, I still think that is that still could hinder Sonic's a little. So I can actually see Sonic's. Uh, maybe, and if he gets that light matchup too, like maybe losing a little bit earlier than having to like make the run to grands through losers. I could see that happening. Okay. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying there's a yeah. chance for that. Cause I, I really do put a lot of, of, uh, 
stock into playing in in larger tournaments as a competitor. You know what I mean? So that would be my two cents. As far as like who I think is gonna win the whole thing, well, you know, for me, is always the gold standard is goat. Okay, always got to give it the at any given point. I'm always gonna tell you that goat means go, which means he can go to the top at any point. So he, is he? I don't know, ain't high enough. He's sixty. Ain't high enough. I'll tell you that much. So Leo, at any given point, but I will say. While my heart is for Leo, my head tells me we will have a a light W, actually. I think this is I think light wins this invitation. I actually do. Yeah, like, also I, light is also just um notoriously very good at invitational settings. Yes. So that is also a very good one of the many points why he could win this tournament. Hundred percent. So okay, so final bet. You're you're betting on who to win, Cosmos. I'm betting on light to win. Okay, light to win. I'm betting on light to win. Zombie, light. who are you betting on? I'm light. I mean, like. So we're all betting on light to win. Damn. Yeah. I like That's it. First. I like it. I love it. I need it almost as much as I need you guys to check out our friends at Prize Picks. Well, EE, what the hell is Prize Picks? It's just the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America. It's the easiest and most exciting way to play against the odds because it's just you against the numbers instead of battling thousands of other thirsty ass players like the pros and the sharks. We ain't worried about none of that, okay? We ain't worried about football season because it's over. But those NBA playoffs, boy, they just getting started whether it's on their home court or you're fl- sp- fighting for a spot in the playoffs it don't matter bro the play in make sure you get in on this deal there's no shortage of high stakes basketball moments this time of the year as we all know so make sure you get in on the excitement with prize picks america's number one fantasy sports app where you turn your hoop knowledge into some serious cash okay it's really simple to play. That's what prize picks do. They simplify it for you, okay? I can make my picks in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, player protection, all that good shit, baby. That's what they bring to the table. So, again, prize picks, they offer weekly promotions that can lead to big payouts, such as Taco Tuesday. I know I got a lot of tubbies who watch this uh, podcast, so there you go, tubs. All right, a little Taco Tuesday promotion on a Thursday. Don't worry about that. So make sure you download the app today and use the code Lights Out for your first deposit match of $100. I repeat, that's code Lights Out for your first deposit match of $100. Put that code on in there. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with prize picks. Any gamblers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I'm there. You will definitely see me in Level Up Expo. And that's why Zamba should be a level up. He's ducking us though, man. Well, you know what? That's a good ass question, actually, Zamba. So yeah. you've, you've turned down, you've turned down a couple of events. Yeah. When is the next tournament you're actually gonna like? Maybe like be at Japan. Wait, you're going to Japan? Yeah, that's why I'm not doing level up. Oh, so you're going to Kaga Reeves. I'm going to Kaga and Delta. And Delta is like, Delta and Kaga Reeves, well, Kaga Reeves is just a P tier, but Delta was almost a P tier. Like, it was a P tier originally, but then some, like, people dropped, so it got, like, slightly lower. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Wait, like, is that us? I could have just done two P tiers in fucking, like, a three-day time span, and I'm like, oh, cool. Like, if I win one of those, it's like, oh, <laughs> I guess I don't have to do anything else this season. <laughs> Too but bad. I'm confused then. So when does Delta happen and when does Kagaribi happen? Delta is, I'm pretty sure, March uh, March uh, the 3rd. I'm, I'm pretty sure Delta is usually on the Thursday before Kagaribi. I could just pull oh, it up. Oh, no. fucking okay. Interesting. Because that's how it was last time I was. I went to Kagaribi. Somebody in the chat said the buzz dropped. What? Oh, he was going to Japan? I didn't even know he was going. Yeah, what the hell? I, I mean, he did well know. last time he went. He did, actually. He got four. Yeah. Delta is the third of May 3rd. And then Kagribi would be like the sixth and seventh. It bleeds into Monday. Oh, wow. Okay. So, so Delta is Friday. Or fifth to sixth, actually, May. Ah, okay. Interesting. Yeah, so Sunday, Monday. Yeah, I guess I can understand. Because I remember, like, I remember, uh, I think Tweak was actually going to go to Japan. 
But I think because this LG Invitational popped up, he was like, yeah. I don't want to do all this travel or something like that. But I still convinced him to come to Level Up because I'm a god. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, okay, that makes sense. Okay, so your next event will be in Japan. Well, are you actually going to be practicing for it? Um, yeah, so, okay. <laughs> I know I've been doing shit. I've know I've known I've been in my watch there. I understand that, you know. Lots of people are there wondering why am I getting in second at these regionals, third at these regionals, why am I like low-key folding to random shit? Well, my prize controller that I had for dear so long, I think it's time to retire that one. And so I got a different controller and I'm just waiting for it to come pretty much, which it comes the twenty second. So and I've been spamming like my in region like I did a local yesterday. I lost. So I did two tournaments in a row. Uh, they're both like, they're decently big. Uh, I got second, the one to syrup. And then the whole thing, I'm like, yeah, I definitely got to like go to, like, I could tell I'm like, I need to go to my locals more. Cause one, everyone's pushing me way harder too. Mm-hmm. Definitely, I feel like a lot worse at the game right now. And especially cause like I've been having controller problems. So I felt it at Watch the Throne, but I got it like kind of fixed. But after, like, every, like, event that I would do, I would notice it, like, still be kind of fucking fucked up. And I would feel like every event, I was, like, getting something fixed. And then it got to a point where low-key at the events where I did get it fixed, um, at the same event, it would still feel, like, shitty. And, like, people can attest, like, at um at Cirque, they can tell my controller is really broken. So it's like, yeah, I'm not... It's garbage. Like, and I was kind of like... I was. I used the broken controller and fucking one Genesis. So you know what? I was pretty proud of that. Right. And I'm like, I didn't want to retire it, but then I'm like, I'm doing shit. So I got to hang up those sticks and get a different one. And then I did. So I'm just waiting. Okay. And I'm still doing like, so on 420, instead of doing the, cause I have plans the next day on Sunday. So I wouldn't be able to like do the Miami and then go to what I'm doing. So I'm doing a tournament on Saturday that's it's like a it's like again like another monthly and so it's like 25 minutes away from my house driving oh, so wow. it's just a lot easier for me to do than okay. you know take a flight to miami for like the weekend yeah i understand it kind of makes sense no that, that's that's legit i'm glad you're getting your your control uh controller <laughs> issues uh fixed up for sure yeah make yeah. sure you handle that man because because in japan ain't playing they, they had just a tournament this past weekend too i want to Shout that out because I think Mia won it over Yada. I know that was like some tough competition there. I think Umeki was there as well. Yoshidora. So that was, I mean, Japan locals are, I always say, are just insane. So yeah. shouts to Mia for winning that tournament. I think Invasion happened too. Somebody was telling me. And I think Bloom won that over Siski. Which mm-hmm. apparently went 10 games, even though I thought Bloom regularly destroyed Siski. So shout out to Siski for some improvement. I don't know. I don't know if he bought out that damn Incineroar. That he'd be trying to play sometimes. Uh, but, you know, that sounds like some good matches. That's the only reason I hate, like, sometimes when I'm not available on weekends, I hate not being able to restream, like, hype tournaments. Like, that, yeah. that sucks. I, lo- I love, I don't know about you guys, but I watch Smash tournaments all the time. I just, I love watching them. They're pretty fun. Yeah, they're awesome. Like, it's good players. Yes. And I, I hope to, uh, I hope to watch you some more too, Zamba. All right. You are an official Lights Out affiliate. All right. Yeah. And anytime we need you to, Bring your white ass in here. I'm assuming you'll be available. <laughs> and so we'll be. definitely be here to yell at you. We'll be here to yell at you. <laughs> 8 bit man. 8 bit man. That was insanity. <laughs> I got a that's a clip going on <laughs> on YouTube shorts. Cool. All right, Zamba. Thanks for your time. Thanks for your feedback. Thanks for your input. We Perfect. appreciate you as always, my brother. And we'll talk to you soon. And just stay in the group. There's no yes. reason to leave. Cool. All right. Have a great rest of your time. Thanks, Brady. Hey, Love Zamba. That is a homie and a true friend uh, to the show, uh, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, now you do. But we have some other things we want to discuss, chat. Not necessarily Smash related, because I told you, can't just talk about this goddamn game all the time, okay? There's something I want to get into first, okay? I want to talk a little anime. Now, Cosmos, have you watched Hunter x Hunter? I have seen Hunter Hunter. Yeah, okay. I just watched all of it in like two weeks. Okay. Well, I'm kind of doing the same thing right now. And, and I want to preface this first. No spoilers in the chat for what I have not seen yet. Okay. I want to, because I want to talk. I, I took a, a break from watching anime. Okay. I watched a little Attack on Titan because the cheeks I was clapping was into that show. Sure. Put it on. Whatever. I don't care. I'm going to sleep anyway. 
But I saw a little bit of it, okay? So I'm like, all right, this is all right. You know, I thought it was all right. I'm Team Jaeger, all that good stuff. But I was like, well, you know, I want to watch. I want to watch an anime for myself. You know what I mean? I want to deep dive into an anime for myself. What's my favorite anime of all time? Yu Hakusho. Love it. So I found out the guy made another, like, anime. Hunter Hunter. All right, I'll watch it. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This anime started off chef's kiss. Hunter exams was hype. The tower to the sky was hype. The New York City absolute peak. A modern day dark tournament. It was chef's kiss peak. And then we get to Green Island. Okay? And, <laughs> and listen, I'm going to tell you this. I gained a new appreciation for Greed Island just, be- just by what I'm seeing with this Chimera or Ant Arc shit. Green Island was definitely not the greatest. It felt it like it could have been a lot worse. It, it could have, and it felt like it felt like filler a lot of the time. I mean, I did keep. I would like randomly meme and run up to like people who I knew new anime and be like, "All right, let's go, guys. A company on." You know what I mean? I would just throw, that, throw out that like transportation card that they would use, but it's okay. All right, Greed Island. It felt like cinema. Like, it felt like uh, not cinema. Like York New City. It felt okay. like filler. It's cool. But let's, but we get to what I thought is going to be, and I get the, you know, have to have a training arc, sure. But we get to what I thought was, it's like, okay, we get some hints to his dad and stuff like that. Oh, we're going to teleport to where his dad is. I'm like, this is brilliant. This is a great way to wrap this up and make it, you know, tie in with the real world, even though Ted was the real world, but you know what I'm trying to say. It was in its own part of the world. And then they run into this, this slim guy named Kite or whatever. And I'm like, who is this, bro? So I'm like, okay, it's going to lead into some awesome story arc to find his father. Let me tell you something. This is horrible. This is the <laughs> worst pacing I've ever seen. I mean, 30 days passing like an instant. There's no concept of time. Nothing makes sense. Let, let Here's my first gripe. Can I go down the list? I haven't seen it all yet. I have not seen it all yet. But if you haven't seen it, just turn this off. Because I'm going to go down the list and get spoilers of what I've seen so far, okay? Issue number one: Why the hell did when Kite was ex, ex, um was guiding Killua and Gon through the forest, they run into that cat lady, which is kind of cute. I kind of like the cat lady. So they run into her. She attacks. Kite loses an arm, and then Gon and Killua haul ass. Okay, you gotta escape. He told you to leave. I get that. That's cool. Why in the world are they assuming? That an army of ants who have literally been hunting down humans and eat, feeding them to the queen, eating them, killing them for sport, liking the nin users because they taste even better. Why are they assuming that Kite is going to be alive? You have no proof of this. You just hauled ass and ran. He lost. The last thing you saw was the nigga's arm getting cut off. He, that's it. So explain to me the logic of saying 30 days. We'll go get Kite in 30 days. Nigga, he ain't got 30 seconds. <laughs> what you mean 30 days? How does that make... Like, what? How did that make any... I'm sitting there watching this. And I'm like, we have to rescue Kite. Rescue him? You mean bury him? Find his remains in the feces that the queen has shit out because he's dead? This is insane. And then it turns out he's alive. In the most insane plot device the guy ends up being alive i'm like you know what okay sure maybe they're like because the cat like wanted to experiment on him and do something crazy all right sure you got it let's move on to my next issue this octopus has got to go i don't even remember this brother's name why in the world why in the world does this octopus have episode? <laughs> Bro, no, hey, no. <laughs> Savannah, you look good. You look good. The 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 Diddy auditions will be afterwards. I was telling what? Him I was, what? <laughs> what you want? What you want? What do you want from Savannah, this? please. Yeah, what do you think about what do you think about the 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 Chimera Ant Arc? Without spoilers. Man, the Chimera Ant Without spoilers, without spoilers. Without spoilers. The Chimera Ant Arc is different than all of Hunter Hunter. It sucks. But it, it is different from any arc in any anime. And it's hard as fuck for real. It's, no, I like it. No, I like no, the Chimera Ant no, Arc, bro. Trash. The trash. Chimera Ant Arc is hard. 
What you mean? They got some of the best moments in the show. Tell tell them we got to have a conversation later. (laughs) Okay, we got to have a talk later. Cause that, I I can't I can't get behind that I can't I can't get behind that. Hey, one. any good conversation has two oppo- opposing sides. I agree. That's true. I agree with that. Exactly. You're wrong about that. Lord have mercy. Uh, I'm gonna guess, I, I am on his side though, because I also enjoyed the the. May, maybe I haven't gotten to the parts that are worth enjoying, because I I want this octopus to die. I hate this motherfucker. He there's no reason we should be dedicating episodes to him. Knuckle is a fucking idiot. This is the worst character that's ever been written, ever. I mean, holy shit, what an idiot. Him and that shoot dude coming out of nowhere to be such huge plot points, I don't understand. And the chairman's a dumbass. So let me get this straight. They hired you, they call you and say, hey, yo, look, nigga, these ants, they about to take over. The whole globe is in trouble. We need you to take care of this. You're the, the president of Hunter Association. I bet, got it. You pull up with a nigga who just teleports through holes and a fucking chain smoker? That's your defense to save the world? And then the one nigga done got shook so bad, his hair done turned white, he don't want to fight nobody. The other dude, I like Moral. He's all right. But really, how many fights does this nigga need, bro? I, how many fights can we get? When's the last time going to throw some hands? How many fights does Moral leave? I have a rebuttal. Please. This team that you say was trash... They got the job done. They got the job done. This team that you said is trash. They did. They did what they needed to do. They what did it, not succeed? All they've done. So I'm up to the point where all they've done is I guess they created enough of a diversion where the chairman and and uh, the chairman and Killua's grandfather have put the king and him on like a dragon going somewhere. I don't know where they're going yet. I haven't got yeah. to that part. But I don't understand. I listen. Killer was you. Listen. You should have watched it when it when it came out. That's your problem. Like stuff is way better now. It's a product of That's its time. And, and 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 I'm gonna say this: if you didn't like it when they was walking right around those steps, and they was like niggas was walking around the steps like. <laughs> you ain't gonna like the art, bro. Cause that ain't hard. <laughs> no, that, that was, was hard. That shit was hard. That shit was, that shit was, hard that shit, that shit was actually cool as fuck. <laughs> that was if tough. You ain't like that, then you probably not gonna like the art. I, I'm, I'm trying, man, but I'm telling you, I, I'm mad too. So another thing, we got this fate of the world type shit. Killer his grandfather and his dad are in the area because I saw the nigga hop off the dragon and kill the cheetah dude. Why are they not going back to fight? Your grandson and son is right there in a lot of trouble. Y'all are strong as shit. You can't be by just because you... Huh? Who grandson? You talking about Killua? Killua? But like his grandfather and his father and his grandfather are there. So why aren't they going to the... They tortured that little nigga. They don't give a fuck about him. They not going... They tortured him. Yeah, but it's crazy because, oh, they didn't get paid to do this this much of the job, so they not going to go help nobody. That, that's your son. Y'all talk about Goku being a bad dad. Bro, that nigga be he had killer one looking like Jesus Christ. Tortured him. That was introduction to his family. What are you talking about? They did the same thing when they fought the nigga in the Phantom Truth. Yeah. They him and they said, oh, the nigga had the contract dead. That's crazy. Like, his brother was his op, bro. His brother was his op, Alumi. Had the fuck he took a contract from the niggas you were hired to take out? Like what the what's this, wrong with this, this family? This dick family is built different. Bro, these niggas are crazy. They really don't care if Killua gonna die. They just like eh. they, at least they consistent. Bro, I they just consistent. at least they consistent. You can't Bro. say it's BS because it's consistent. Bro, I just really wanted to see them fight and they just dipped. So I don't know if they come back later. No spoilers, please. But I don't know if they come back later, but I'm just like, this is crazy, bro. This is crazy. I agree with you, though, on the fight and shit. That's yeah. why, that's why, just watch Jujutsu Kaisen, season two. I'm, that's it, my it, next anime. Yeah, when you get to season two of Jujutsu, of Jujutsu Kaisen, you won't be disappointed. Yeah, that, that is the, the thing about Hunter Hunter is like, I feel like they be teasing a lot of fights and they just don't go through with like the, over half of them. But in Jujutsu Kaisen, when you see a nigga pull up to a nigga, they, it's over. They fighting, 
until somebody's gone. That's just how it is. <sighs> okay. Well, that's good to know. Um, I, I don't want to rant too much. I know I've been talking a lot about this. Uh, YouTube will probably hate this section, but I uh, I just had to get that off my chest. I have been watching this Chimera arc, arc and it's been nothing but pissing me off. I'm going to keep You're slogging. probably not even halfway done. I'm going to keep slogging through it, and I hope it gets better. My only hopes is that this, the, we're going to see the Spider Phantom Thieve guys or whatever show up again. Because Fei, Fei Long is my favorite character in this whole damn thing. That monk is tough. And I hope he gets more screen time because that monk is, is OD. Uh, also, please, the narrator, shut the hell up. My God, That's bro. That's something you either love or you hate. I hate it, bro. I'm like, what? These explanations are, you could just tell this through the fucking fights, the characters. Cause why do I need this guy to tell me everything, bro? I'm like, damn, I can't even be alone with my thoughts because this nigga won't shut up. I hate the narrator. See, but, okay, but I'm, I'm not going to lie. I actually appreciate the narrator because it also makes it a little bit more realistic because when niggas are fighting these niggas don't be having all the monologues that they be having in their mind while they're fighting like in the other anime where these niggas are talking having two minute monologues but it's like the narrator is actually explaining what they're probably subconsciously thinking and like what's actually going on whereas like and realistically if there's no narrator there should be no talking happening which can get stale at some time too but he, dude, it's literally like, I mean, even if it was like a soothing voice like Morgan Freeman, I'd be like, nigga, take a break. It's just that much, bro. I can't stand it anymore. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my Hunter Morgan Hunter Freeman. update as of now. And um, I will uh, I'll keep you guys updated next week if you give a shit. We'll see what people say in the comments. We, um, we, we, we got to know what you think next week. You, you got to finish it by next week. I'm hoping to. I'm trying my best. Um, but. Last thing I want to talk to you guys about, because uh, me and Carlos are big fans of that. I know we got a couple fans uh, on Twitch and YouTube who know hoops as well. A little NBA playoffs, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not game related or anything like that. But I do want to have you kept up. Did you see the Lakers? I did see get the that, Lakers. Get that, that, lucky, was crazy. that lucky win against the Pelicans. And I do the mean lucky. lucky win. What do and, you mean? We were, we, were, we were up 16 at some point. And then it was I a one was point. That close anyway. And then it was like a one point game or tie game. And Zion goes down with like a leg injury or something like that. A hamstring. I think I read about that. If Zion stays in that game, the Lakers are still fighting for a spot in the playoffs. You must be crazy. Yeah. You just you you just tight because you know your motherfucking Clipper is definitely getting beat in at least five against Luca and Kyrie because they going on a tear right now. I'm tight about. Don't make me bring somebody back down here again. I, we I, gonna cook you on this shit. I'm tight about my team that didn't have to qualify through a made up playing tournament. Yeah, I'm real tight. I'm tight about my team that's that's defeated the Mavs in the last playoff encounters. We'll be just fine. Kawhi gonna get that knee right. PG gonna be PG. Harden gonna turn back the clock, and we gonna handle business. That's just a warm up, baby. That's the y'all. Y'all gotta fight Denver. Y'all gotta go against Jokic, the two time, about to be three time, should be four time MVP of the league. Good luck with that. Good luck. By the way, Jamal Murray. If you ever notice, his stats go up in the playoffs. By the way, good, good luck with that. Good luck with that. Good luck with D'Lo. <laughs> good luck with the with the white Kobe Bryant. All right, Kobe of the Ozarks. They call him. Okay. Good luck with that squad getting past Denver in round one. Good luck. Good luck with that, buddy. Hey, this guy. I, I I must. I mean, I was talking to this, so if I'm honest about it. I definitely he come and convince me too. I definitely much rather fight Denver round one than later on in the playoffs. So you know what? I'll give it up. Get it out early on. They they don't have have time to like actually see how we play actual sets this year. So it's just the first set. That's it. That's get, it. Get it out the way, bro. Get it out the way. We'll and see. if we win, we fucking win the entire championship. Nigga. No one else is gonna beat the Lakers. Who's bro. gonna beat the Lakers? Uh, let's see. The Clippers. The okay. Timberwolves. What was the, record the entire season. Hmm? The Clippers. The t please. The Clippers, the Timberwolves. Uh, they also cooked them. Okay. Continue though. Who else is uh, the Sun? Like the, the, there's a lot that y'all better. Y'all better. Y'all are lucky. Y'all lucky y'all didn't have to see the Kings. I'm gonna just say that. Y'all lucky you didn't have to see the Kings, okay? Uh, I'll leave it at that. Oh my god. That's the old no. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit, dude. I 
Did you see that? I think somebody just threw I thought somebody just threw a brick at me, but it was just Clay Thompson trying to hit a three. Uh, Warriors lose to the Kings in a <laughs> dominant display oh, no. from the uh, the sat down <laughs> team. <laughs> oh, my I Lord. This guy so fucking much. <laughs> Did y'all see oh, that God. ass whooping that the Kings put on the Warriors, bro? Oh, a 10. My boy Clay was out here building Section 8 homes for families, bro. That was terrible. And I hate to say that because he's a he's a four-time champion. I know he's been he's had his career impacted and robbed by injuries. He got remember he suffered like the ACL and um MCL like back to back or something like that. So I know that really sucks for Clay. But damn, bro, at some point, you clearly ain't got it on the night. You should have been passing that ball a little bit more because Lord have my I didn't mean, see the game. Like, like was he it, missing layups and shit, too? Bro, he, no, he, he went 0 with 10, bro. Like, he didn't, he didn't score a single point. Like, How you not? Like, if you – if I assume if you missing that many shots, it's because you shooting threes or you shooting jump shots and you just not hitting it. But, like, motherfucker, what? can you go for a simple layup and get something? Get fouled? They were in free throws or something? They were defending pretty well. And then, like, they kind of, like, I think they kind of sagged off him a little bit, too, because I don't think they, they they felt like he was a threat anyway. It was the greatest cardio workout I've ever seen on a basketball court that rivaled the legendary Tony Snell, okay? It was, it was, it was that bad, all right? And I, I'm not trying to be mean. I think that we just yeah, watched. I just think we watched the end of that Warriors team as we know it. I don't think they bring that team back. Um, cause I don't, I don't think you can, you know what I mean? Like realistically, I don't think you do it pay cuts or not. I just think you gotta, you probably got like another two years to maximize potential for Steph to win something. Um, but not as currently constructed, bro. Yeah. You keep Draymond for sure. Um, but you gotta, yeah, Clay's, Clay's gotta go. I'd try and get something for Wiggins too. Like he, he went backwards. So end of an era, man, it really just kind of shows how old we're getting. Cause the Warriors yeah. dynasty is officially over. And all these yeah. new cats are going to be in uh, the playoffs. I'm hoping it'll be the Pelicans. Hopefully Zion can play. If he can't play, probably going to be the Kings. Um, but I don't think Keegan Murray goes crazy like he did yesterday. But uh, regardless of that, uh, that's just yeah. one to share our NBA thoughts. Who do you have coming out the East? So East is about to start, I think, tonight. Tonight and tomorrow. You got any predictions? I'm I'm not entirely sure. Um, I I really like the Knicks right right now. I think they're a really clean team right now. Knicks are good. Um, just just what I really want to see is I want to see the Heat play the Celtics round one and just get them out of there because they well, it's the, it's it's just a joke at this point. The Heat have to play the Sixers in the first play in yeah. round, and the Sixers are going to win that matchup. We have the only thing we have for the Heat is history. They have done nothing even remotely impressive this season, and I think it's because they can't do anything remotely impressive. I they, don't believe they got an all star. No, nah, I who Butler Bam out of bio. Oh, Bam, yeah, Bam was on, the, yeah, I guess Bam didn't make it. But Bam, Bam is good, but he's not an impact player like that. Jimmy's not the same player. I don't care how they try and do the smoke and mirrors. What, oh, he's saving himself for the playoffs. No, Sixers are gonna win that, they'll be locked in there. I got the Sixers coming out of the east optimistically, I think is realistically going to be. Uh, the Celtics, but you know what? I and B's just the best player in the East, so that's who I want to come out. And I like I like that team a lot too. So. Oh wait, wait, wait! So I haven't paid att- attention to the East at all. Is and B back? Or is yeah, he- he's, he he came back. Yeah, he's been back for like a week and a half. Played the last. Oh wow! Played okay. the last regular season game. He, I mean, he averaged like like twenty four or something like that. He did, he's doing Damn. well. He's not clear to have like his whole legs up under him, but I think I think it'll I think he'll be fine. I think this rest period is gonna. I think I think they'll be fine is what I'm saying. So we'll see, chat. I don't know. Like if you're a hoops fan, you'll kind of give us your opinions too and and let us know what you think. Um and hopefully you guys enjoyed uh today's episode. Obviously, like I said, we did things a little bit differently. We brought in Zamba. Then we kind of second half of the show we want to talk about, you know, some anime, some sports, just kind of mixing it up a little bit, diversifying. Um Glad as, we did it. Yeah, as you say. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Please, of course, as always. Leave your comments down below. Uh, again, check out the prize picks. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you're watching on YouTube. Use that code lights out when you sign up. It's awesome. Advanced GG, like I said, awesome energy supplement. Tastes delicious. I love the guava berry personally. 
and you can use code lights out 10 for a discount on that. And if you're heading to Low Tide City, sign up with the code lights out 20 to get $20 off your registration. But that'll do us for this episode. We're looking forward to recapping the Luminosity Invitational that's happening this week. We will have light on for that episode because it'll be competing in that. So we'll make them come on. So you will have your dose of light next week. Um, but hopefully you enjoyed your dose of lights out today. And uh, you know, the, you know how we always say, you know, the vibes like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. See ya.